Hey everyone, welcome to another 5 minute game. 5 minute pool is tough these days, there's not many people near my rating most of the time, so I, I get pared down a lot. Because I'm just so good. Um, A4 is the move I play, I'm just thinking about something. Usually they take, although B6 may be slightly more accurate, but okay, he takes. Um, you know, I remember I had a new plan here involving bishop b1 and some kind of attacking ideas, but I'm, I don't remember the details of it. I remember I was planning to do it in one of my, like, slow games against like somebody I thought might play the French. I forget who it was. Oh, I remember now. I remember. It was against Knappen. Oh, this is a typical plan. You reroute the, the knight to c3. I remember thinking bishop b1 is an interesting way of doing things differently because almost everyone uh, does the other thing. But what's the moves here? Rookie 1? b3? I feel like everyone goes b3. I'll just do what everyone else does. This is a typical plan of bishop to knight to a7. Uh, Um, I'm going to go bishop f4. After knight a7, I'm going to go bishop to e2. Is it good or not? Who knows? Who knows? I remember that, that black's okay in his positions somehow. I just don't know what else to do. He'll probably go for b5. Um... This guy's strong, man. He knows his stuff. Be taken then knight a4. Seems okay. And then rook c1. h4 is often a good idea in some of these positions. I forget, man. There's a game with um, Holt and Adams. Adams was white against Conrad Holt. And Adams played a very nice game. I know he put his bishop in f4. And he played h4 at some point. I forget what his attacking idea was after that. Oh well. But again, I figured out a new idea in this opening. I, I wish I remembered it. Once I put it in my... Once I start to really study it. That'll be useful. Uh, position seems playable, you know. I have some c5 squares. His knights are in my face, but what are they doing right now? What the hell is that move? Oh, he wants to go to a7, I guess. A little risky though. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go here. I mean, it's a little risky because Queen. Okay, he didn't go to a7. Well, now I'm probably gonna go knight c5. Why not, right? I mean, this just looks annoying, and this a5 pawn becomes weak. Um, before I take that, I'm looking at rook a5. That's ridiculous. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, rook a5 is a threat. Queen b6, that's probably what he'll do. And then, oh, he, did, he did that instead. Um, also looks good. Um, well, what to do now? He wants to go rook c8, probably. I'm just going to go rook c1. Uh, you know, I'm going to go h4, actually. Pretty useful move. And if he goes rook c8, I can even take it. This is pos I'm going to just take. I'm going to see what he takes back with. <clears throat> Probably the queen. Uh, and I'm like vaguely looking. Well, no. I was looking at rook a5, but it's just silly. I'm probably going to have to go rook c1. Alright, so. How do I attack this guy? Bishop h6 is interesting, honestly. It's very interesting. He takes, I take. Knight g5 is a threat. He moves his bishop. I go knight g5. He moves his f pawn. I'm just going to do it. Only live once, right? <laughs> I mean, we'll see. 
I want to go queen g5, of course. Uh, you know, creative dude, right? Oh, wow. No interest in... Well, can I just go queen g5 now? Probably, right? I'm just going to do it. And my idea is king h2 after rook takes rook. Threatening queen d8 in that position also, unfortunately for him. Bishop a6, man! What's up? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was a cool move, right? Because the whole time I'm playing on the queen side, and then out of nowhere, when you least expect it, I jump over to the king side. And... My streak of wins continues. Well, it was just be four in a row, because I lost that horrible game. To the, um... 2200 dude that I am... Anyway, the game's over. It's just me. I, I wonder if he took my bishop, how, how it was for him. I mean, it looked kind of interesting. We'll see in a minute, I suppose. I hate having the sacrifice. I hate sacrificing against lower-rated players, because, like, usually if you just keep the position normal, you're just going to win somehow. But I couldn't help myself this time. I just couldn't help it. Had to do it. And he's still thinking, but the game's over. There is zero defense. G6, queen d8, or queen f6. Or eight. Queen d8 is better because it's made in one faster move because it doesn't allow rook h1 check. Uh oh. All right, he resigns. He didn't let me mate him on the board. But yeah, let's let's take a look at this. Um, just kind of curious. If he took, I was going to take, and my idea is, like, you know, he can do stuff like this. But somehow this looked really scary. Maybe he thinks I'm doing well. Oh, no, the fucking guy's analyzing with me. I hate that. Sorry. It's just, like, they're making moves, taking back moves. I don't care about your, I'm just doing this for my own self. Um, so I always have to forget, I always forget to unanalyze the game. Um, so Bishop H6, let's see. I'm oh, sorry. Take. Take. Yeah, I think some just better. Way to go, Greg, man. Good instincts. It's winning. Winning move. So this move is just really powerful. It only likes king moves now. Like, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching. I will see you next time with another 5-minute chess game. Peace out. Bye bye. I get, I get like 3 points every time I win. So brutal. But I just passed somebody else in the best list. So back up to number 7. Way to go me. Alright, see you for reals. Bye bye.